Gotcha. Uh, Matei, as the person in the labs right now, and, and really at the leading edge of hopingly create breakthroughs which are going to change how robots interact with us, what do you see as the next few major breakthroughs that are going to change how robots integrate with our lives? Well, it's, uh, let me start first of all by talking a little bit about what you mentioned about robotics. There's the risk of you know, being seen as a dry field. And uh, I think my experience has been that in general, if anything, Robotics has this, it's, it's very easy to create hype around it. It's very, people are just attracted to the story immediately. So there's just so much interest from the general public in, in robotics, right? So that has been a blessing and a curse, I would say, for the field, right? It's, it's so easy to get your work out there when you're doing robotics. It's, you know, people complain, oh, it's like media outlets. There's some law that says every media outlet has to run a robot story every day. It's very easy to get recognition, to, get, to become known, for robotics work. So that's the blessing. The curse part of it is that there's a risk of hyping too much the field of, and then not delivering on the promises. And then there's also a risk for us as roboticists to kind of fall in love with the technology for the sake of the technology and forget about the main goal, which is to serve a purpose, to help somebody, to be useful in the world. So some of the major breakthroughs that I think we will have in the next couple of years is we will get robots that are directly and in a very visible way helping people in, in society. That, that has been happening, right? You talked about visibility for robotics. And uh, impact on society has already happened in tremendous fashion for robotics. Right? Everybody talks about the ubiquitous computing revolution, about cell phones. That revolution doesn't happen if the robot revolution hadn't happened 40 years ago. Right? The fact that our cell phones, right, which we all have, and they cost a couple of hundred dollars, they cost a couple of hundred dollars because robots are making them in the factory. So if that hadn't happened 40 years ago, there's no smartphones today. But the next major breakthroughs will be robots that are directly interacting with people and directly helping people, and in, in that sense, being a lot more visible in society. And we can talk about you know, assistive robotics in, in medicine. We can talk about robots in elder care. Uh, we can talk about social robotics as well, playing a very visible role in our society. So what I like to think is that the major breakthrough is that the robots are going to you know, step out of behind the scenes where they are now in the factory lines and the assembly lines and be you know, at the forefront and amongst us and be much more present in society.